Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. So as we can see, the market is off to a great, great start on this Friday, guys. As well as AMC, we got big things coming ahead. Like I said, the spike was anticipated. It was coming. Nothing was about to stop it. Too much buying pressure was going to, you know, override all the manipulation and the selling pressure that there was. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys. See exactly what's going on because things is looking good we know usually fridays is you know one of the worst days in the market usually at the end off consolidating you know not doing much or the end off down being for the fact a lot of uh call options will start to expire and they try to you know expire them worthless and also a lot of investors they traders they start to pull out positions going into the weekend so that's typically what also will drive the market down guys so let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on because the market is showing nice nice signs guys a lot of people were still skeptical they still scared they like no no don't buy yet and this that and the third i'm like man y'all tripping i'm buying i'm loading somebody in the comments said anybody loading up now this that and the, man look if you ain't getting this money right here that the market is about to print I don't know what you said then lost all that money for during the downturn. And then soon as you get the opportunity to buy at the bottom, you you think it's got about to be another bottom. Like I said, guys, from my opinion, I already know, of course, just because we still a little green, it's not about to continue to just go green, 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 which those days are coming. But of course, it's going to be some red. They got to be a little tricks. A little tricky and they of course the market makers gonna try and you know get some people scare some people jip some people out of some bread because a lot of people even though the market recovering like this they still gonna lose money they still ain't gonna make money because they timing is is very you know bad very poor very poor for performance as it's going up they buy near the peak they don't buy in the red when it was at the bottom they buy near the peak why it's up now as soon as it drop a little bit just to pull back just because it hit a resistance point and selling off a bit then you know people start to sell off too the ones that scared and think the market is about to go right back down they selling off for a loss and just repeating the same thing even as the market reversing going to the upside people still is capable of losing money from bad timing guys and bad and not being prepared not seeing exactly you know what's the best buy points and what's the best sell points so let's go ahead and take a look at this guys because we know you know if you're making money right now if you're making profits you definitely need to be taking profits guys because it's going to be choppy even though i believe the market is it is about to reverse like i said i know it's going to come back down though let's not be let's be clear here but the thing is i don't believe it's going down to the lowest levels that we've seen on this year i believe it could get close once it come run up and come back down just to scare some people but i believe it's going to create higher lows and continue to trend up until we turn into a bullish market guys that's my opinion on it and as you can see guys the market has been doing pretty well since i've been stating that and it took a little time everything isn't you know right on time even when we call certain stocks out it ain't gonna hit just like that sometimes it take a little time for it to uh uh fulfill out but anyways, just for instance, look at Coinbase. We had a lot of people, naysayers in the comments. Oh, I wouldn't be investing that. You're going to lose money in that. Upstart, they said the same thing. Got in there at 30. Now everybody chasing. I bet. So Coinbase got in there at 69. Now everybody about to start chasing. Uh, what's another one? You know, it's a, a, feel, a good bit on Roblox. We got in on that. Everybody trying to chase that now. I'm done with that. I wash my hands with that. You know, if it go off to 30, 40, whatever. I don't care. I made my money. I, you know, never get too greedy, never get too wound up in, you know, messing with a too risky investment too many times. I like to rinse and repeat, but it's going to be quality that I rinse and repeat. I believe Redbox is a very, very risky business. So it's a lot of plays that's going right for us right now, guys. And, you know, I like to call a lot of plays with, you know, a little bit more potential than the overall market and other competitors in this field. So AMC is looking lovely right now, though. AMC broke above that $12.90, guys. Right where I told us we would go up to on yesterday before selling off and coming back down to test support at previous resistance.
assistance at $11.80. That's why we healed up at $11.88. So now we want to see the day as a continuation on top of that. Break through that $12.90.13. Once we break through it, we need to see a run at $15.16. $16. After doing so, if we do sell off from there, we want to hold up at $12.90.13. $13. A lot of people from $15.16 back to $13, they'll see that as, oh, a sell off is happening again. And really, that's just the algorithm of the market. That's how it tends to operate so you already know guys like we know you know we don't give into all that bump that but anyways i love y'all you already know what to do as you boy on instagram at the show i love you getting vip we going off we gone